Hey everybody, do you have two identical Behringer X-Touch controllers and you've been trying to connect them to Pro Tools but you can only get one of them connected? Well, I'm gonna tell you why you can only get one connected and I'm going to give you a way to get around that problem. And I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go. Okay, so the reason you're having a problem is when you have two identical Behringer controllers, like the X-Touch Universal, maybe you've got two of those, or maybe you've got two of the X-Touch extenders. When you plug two identical devices into your computer through USB, they identify as the same machine. You might see them separately in lists, but Pro Tools will not see them as different devices. So when you try to add both, you're only ever going to be able to add one. So there's two different ways we can get around this. Both ways are using a program called RTP MIDI. And in the first example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the first device by USB like we normally would, and then we'll use RTP MIDI to connect the second device. The other way we could do it is just to connect both devices by RTP MIDI. So what RTP MIDI does is it allows you to uh, set up a USB device over your network. And if you have multiple devices that identify as the same, you can set up session IDs inside RTP MIDI so that you can differentiate between the two devices. You can set different ports, different IP addresses. And once you've done that, it will show up as a separate device in Pro Tools. So again, the first way we can do one by USB and the other one by network or both of them by network. It's your choice. We're going to walk through both and let's look at the first way right now, which is one by USB and one over the network. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get both of our X-Touch controllers into the correct mode. So I'm using two X-Touch universals, but if you were using two extenders, it would be the same directions. So I'm going to grab my other camera here. So what we want to do is you're going to start with this device turned off. And then what you do is you hold the select button on channel one while you turn the device on. And when you do that, it brings you into your selection mode. So you wanna make sure for the first one, because we are going to do it via USB, that your mode is set to HUI for human user interface, which is what Pro Tools uses as the control protocol. And then interface is set to USB. Once you've done that, you're gonna hit select. And now this device is ready and waiting for connection. So then let's come over to our other one. This is the one that we are going to set to be a network control device. So same thing, turn it off, hold your select button while you turn the device on and come into your selection mode. So again, the mode is set to HUI, but instead of USB for the interface, instead of USB, we are setting it to network. Now, the role, we want it to be slave and you need to set a port. If I'm using multiple devices like this, I usually set them to 5004, then 5006, 5008, but you can do any of the numbers you want in here. And so because this is the only one I'm using, I'm just gonna leave this at 5006. And now here's the really important part under the network mode. Let's come to DHCP. I have DHCP turned on. That means that my network router is going to hand out an address automatically to this device. If you are really good with your network, if you understand IP addresses, and you want to set your device to a static IP, so it's always the same thing, you can do that. You would turn DHCP to off, then rotate this one more time to the right, and here you see network my IP. This is where you can now dial in a static address of your choice. But if you are not familiar with how your network functions and you don't know what we're talking about with IP addresses, I strongly urge you to leave this at DHCP and leave this set to on. Once you've done all of these settings on your second device, you're gonna hit select and you'll see it's now going to try and grab an IP from my router. The router is saying, here you go, here's your address and you'll see it says wait. So now this is waiting for us to make a network connection. So both our devices are now set up correctly. The next thing we need to do is get RTP MIDI installed and ready to go with this second device. 
Okay, to get RTP MIDI, you're gonna to go to this website up here. I will have this linked and you're gonna click on download RTP MIDI and install the software. Once you do and you start it up, you're gonna be looking at a little window that looks just like this. So what we have to do is create a session and inside that session, we need to create a device. So to create a session, we click on the plus. Now, the session automatically comes up with the name of your computer. You can change this over here to be anything you want. So I'm gonna call this local name. I'm going to make it X Touch Network. I'm gonna change it here too. We'll just call it Xnet. For short, you can change these names to whatever you want. So that is our session. We can click in this box to enable the session. So that session is now ready to go. Oops, I made a mistake here. Let's turn enabled off. I did not set the port correctly. Remember, we set the port on that device to be 5006. So let's change that to 5006. And now we can enable it. With the session set up and enabled, the next thing we need to do down here in the directory is actually create our X-Touch device. So we're gonna click on the little plus sign. We'll give this a name. Let's call this X-Touch network and so now we need to get the ip address that our device grabbed during setup so let's grab the other camera again and let's have a look here and you can see that our ip address is 192.168.0.9 so that's what we're going to put in here 192.168.0.9 the port we need to put in the same thing 5006 click ok so you can see we've got our session here. With this highlighted, we want to connect the device we just set up. So if I hit connect, you can see that it is now connected with a latency of zero milliseconds. And if I come back over and have a quick look, you can see that the device is no longer showing the IP address or the wait status. It is now technically connected to the computer. It's just waiting for us now to make a connection in Pro Tools. Okay, so looking at our Pro Tools session, we're gonna come up to Setup. We're going to go to Peripherals. And in the Peripheral window, you wanna choose the MIDI Controllers tab. Now, it doesn't matter which device you put where that's up to you but whichever one you put in number one will be the first eight channels and whatever you put in number two will be the second eight so nine to sixteen and then of course three and four if you had two more controllers they would just logically go in the next step so for the first one i'm going to choose hui which again is the protocol receive from i'm going to choose x touch emulated this is the one that i have connected via usb Choose the same thing for the send two. Channels are eight, that's correct. And in the second one, I'm going to choose X-Touch Network, which is what we set up in RTP MIDI. Same thing here, X-Touch Network. So now when I click OK, both of these devices are going to come to life. The first one, which is the one on my left, is USB will be the first eight channels. The one on my right, which is the network device, will be channels nine to 16 if we've done this right. So let's click OK. And you can hear that they've both come to life. Let's grab the other camera. And you can see here that is audio channels one to eight. Come over here. This is audio nine to 16. So if I move this fader, you're just gonna see on the software that it's moving channel nine and if i move over here on this one the first one is channel eight so there we go we can see that these are all doing what they're supposed to and these are all doing what they're supposed to as well okay the second way we're going to do this is by connecting both devices on rtp midi so we're not going to plug either one of these in by usb so you don't have to do it this way but if you're up for it, it just gives you full control over which device is which. It's kind of nice. And if you're going to do more devices, maybe you're going to do three or four. Um, this is a really good way to do it because then you have everything contained in one location. You can, of course, use the other way, the other method we just did, which is one by USB or two by USB. And then your third one by RTP MIDI. It just depends on what your setup is. But I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly to set both devices up with RTP MIDI. So 
get our devices into the correct mode, just like before. So hold your select button, power on the device, come into select mode. And this was the one I had as USB, but we're gonna change this to network. So HUI, network, mode, slave. My port is 5004, unlike the other device, which is 5006, they have to be different ports. And then I'm going to go to DHCP, make sure that's on. Again, if you want static, change DHCP to off, and then go to my IP and set your address. I'm leaving mine as DHCP on. Once I have that selected, I'm gonna hit the select button, wait for it to get an IP address from my router, which it did, 192.168.0.7. Same thing over here, it's, the settings are all ready, ready to go. HUI, network, mode, slave, 5006 is the port instead of 5004, and DHCP is set to on, hit select, wait for it to get its IP address, and it's thinking about it. There it is, same IP address we already had, 192.168.0.9. So what we do is we come back into our TP MIDI, and this time we need to make two sessions. So I'm gonna make this one, and I'm gonna call this network left, actually no, let's call this X touch left. And we'll just do X left. And that's 5004, so we'll enable that. Create another session. I'm going to call this X touch right, and we'll just call this X right. Port is 5006, that is correct, so we can enable this. And now what we need to do in our directory is set up our two devices. So we click on plus, and we're gonna call this X left, and we know that this is 192.168.0. What did I say? Seven. Port 5004, click OK. With X touch left, highlighted as the session, you can connect X left, and it is connected there. So now we're going to create one more device and call this X right, 192.168.0.9, port 5006, click OK. And so now with X touch right selected, I am going to connect X right, and they are both connected. So now we can go back into Pro Tools and grab both of these devices. Okay, back into Pro Tools, come up to Setup, Peripherals, and then back into the MIDI Controllers tab. So the first one is HUI, and we are going to do X Touch Left. If you are not seeing the new ones that you just set up, it's probably because you had Pro Tools open, so it hasn't refreshed the list, and if you're not seeing it, just do a shutdown and a reboot of Pro Tools, and your newly defined RTP MIDI stuff should be in here. So predefined left is gonna be my first one on my left side, X touch left. My second one's going to be, of course, X touch right, X touch right, and when I click OK, they should both come to life. And they did. They didn't make any noise because all the faders are down. But let's grab the other camera and see. So here is channels 1 through 8 and channels 9 through 16. And if I move these all up, you're going to see the channels 9 to 16 move on the software. And if I bring these ones up, you're going to see channels 1 to 8 move. And that's how you do it. So there you go. If you have two or more identical X-Touch controllers and you can't get them to connect to Pro Tools, now you know why and you know what to do. You can do one or more of them as USB if they're not the same and then the other identical one over RTP MIDI. Or if you just want to avoid all the confusion, do everything via RTP MIDI because it's pretty darn simple and it's pretty awesome. Anyway, I hope this was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, please consider liking and sharing and subscribing. You can check us out, of course, on Patreon 
or you can actually join the channel down below. It's really inexpensive and any of those things that you can do actually help the channel in a huge, huge way. So thanks in advance. And until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies. See you everybody.